Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jamie, aka The Bearded Brit here, bringing you another episode of Raising My KD in Black Ops 2. I know it's been a long time since the last one, but I did get Final Fantasy XIV and I did play a hell of a lot of it. I still am playing a hell of a lot of it, but I thought, wait a minute, I can't just have my channel on one game. Because, you know, from when I started out, I was like, you know, I'm going to be a variety game channel, all that kind of stuff. And it moved away from that, so I'm going to try my best to bring it back to that. But we'll see how it goes. So first of all, I in this game I have a KD of 3.17 at the end, I think it is, uh, with a score of 19 and 6, which isn't bad for me. If you're new to this channel and you're expecting great gameplay, then uh, you may want to go somewhere else. I'd go to Muzza Fuzza, that guy's a beast. He's probably the only Call of Duty guy I watch still. Uh, oh, no, I only use my blade. So there's two, two Call of Duty guys I watch. I don't really watch anyone else anymore. Uh, I used to watch loads, like Cnanas, Hutch, all those guys, uh, back in the day, a long time ago. And I used to follow like the competitive scene as well, Call of Duty and Halo 3. But again, I don't do that anymore. Um, I follow League of Legends quite closely now. Seeing as, you know, my gaming preference has changed, I will say that. And that's what this commentary is going to be about. It's going to be about, you know, how I used to be an Xbox person, or guy, whatever you want to call it. A console person. I don't know what to call it. Anyway, I used to play games on a console. I didn't really have a PC. So this is kind of back in like 2007 to I think 2011 is when I bought, built my PC, my first one. So in those four years I played a hell of a lot of Call of Duty and a hell of a lot of Halo 3. You know, played game battles on COD 4 and Halo 3, you know, quite often. Probably a couple of nights a week at least. And I enjoyed it, you know, I enjoyed the competitive nature of it. And I was fairly good on the console. But as you can see, you know, I'm not as good on PC yet. And I say yet, hoping that over the course of this series that I can get better and better. And eventually bring you some good gameplay that you'll probably actually enjoy watching. Rather than, you know, the death sprees that I go on in these games. And the awful spray that I have. But I think some skills do transfer over to PC. Like general game knowledge kind of transfers over. Uh, but again, it's, I don't know. PC just plays a little bit differently, like a little bit faster, and people don't go to the same places in maps, I will say, and they use different guns, you know, generally on PC you use a couple of guns that really dominate, but on console, you know, you can get away, you seem to be able to get away with using anything. Like I remember Modern Warfare 2, you could literally use any gun and do well with it, and then COD 4 as well you could use almost any gun and do well. Obviously the M16 was really strong on COD 4, but on PC it's not. It doesn't make sense, I don't get it. The AK-47 is really strong on PC, but then it's not that great on console. I don't know what it is, but I don't know, it just seems to be that difference there. So there is always differences between the two versions, and I think it's going to take a little bit of time you know, to get used to all that. But hopefully over the next few weeks, um, before Call of Duty Ghosts comes out, I can get a few more games of Black Ops in for you. And hopefully they'll be good games as well, that'd be good. And then once Ghosts comes out, I'm going to buy it on PC. I think it'll be the first one that I buy first on PC and then may buy it on console later on. Because I'm not going to buy a PS4 or Xbox One on release, because first of all I can't afford it, and I don't really need it. So, you know, I haven't saved the money aside to actually get one because I don't need it. Um, I may get one further down the line and then I probably will buy Call of Duty for that. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so I'm going to buy Ghosts on launch and I'll try and get some videos out, you know, as soon as possible really, of that if I get some decent KD games, which I might not <laughs> because obviously it's a new game. Uh, there's going to be people straight away that have played FPS for ages coming straight on there and they'll already have a better skill than me and they'll learn the maps faster generally but hopefully you know playing it a, a few games or a few nights in a row I'll get used to it that was horrendous spray back there I would say that but yeah hopefully I can get used to it quickly and get some good gameplays which would be nice I will obviously bring it alongside other games as well like Final Fantasy will still be on the channel and I'm hoping to bring some other games because when I first started this channel I wanted it to be variety gaming, you know, I didn't want to just concentrate on one game or a couple of games. I wanted to do a lot of different games, but I haven't actually done that lately. You know, it's it was all WoW a little while ago, with occasionally something else random, like 
uh, Mass Effect guide or Saints Row guide dabbled in there and lately it's been a lot of Final Fantasy and nothing really else so that was the first idea behind making this video was to you know, change it up a bit you know bring some more variety to the channel I've got a couple of other ideas of what else I can make and hopefully they go down well because I have to be honest the last uh, video I made of this Black Ops 2 wasn't really that successful um, I can get more views doing something else but then at the end of the day that's not the point for me I don't care if this gets you know 100,000 views in a couple of days which will never happen to me but I'm just saying like I can get more views doing WoW stuff but I didn't enjoy WoW anymore so I quit that and there's no point making videos that I don't enjoy doing because they will be terrible like okay more terrible than the ones I do enjoy making which yeah, I don't see the point. So anyway, enough ranting about what I do enjoy and what I don't enjoy. Uh, I hope you could watch this gameplay without cringing too much or, I don't know, being sick everywhere. <laughs> I know my gameplay is pretty bad and, like I said, I will improve and I will get better. So stay tuned for more Call of Duty gameplay in the future. And if you haven't subscribed to me, then... I know, and you want to see more gameplay from me in the future, or more random commentaries like this in the future, I can promise I will bring those. So there's the end of the game. Hope you enjoyed the commentary, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.